Alright, we're ready. Trey I'm Guy Strickland. We started in the summer, um, this past summer, 2012, and uh, we really wanted to go with Stone and Malone, but fortunately that's already taken. So that's actually like an artist that goes by Stone Malone, isn't that right? And so we were thinking about, we really wanted a name, we wanted something to, we didn't want to be Guy and Trey, you know, we wanted to have something to associate ourselves with, and so um, we got the idea from um, Barry Hanna's book, Geronimo Rex. I haven't even read all of it, but the guy's read it all. <laughs> Guy thought of it. I've read parts of it, and it's really, he's really one of my favorite writers from Mississippi. We also wanted like a personification to, like, I really have an affinity for like Native American culture, especially like in Apache, the Apache tribe, and so we went with Geronimo and um, Geronimo Press is what we came up with, but it was really cool to have like a figure, a historical figure, especially like an elusive. It's too much black. I kind of like this. It's like weird green. So like a year ago, I'd never done printmaking before. Guy had been working on it for his thesis, and Guy taught a class, and I was in his class, and I just really liked it. So whenever the semester was over, I would just, as we were talking, we were like, let's just keep doing this. We actually had a print exchange that we wanted to do. It was like an international print exchange where you make a print, and then you send in 15 prints of your woodblock or etching or whatever, and they'll send you back 12 or 15 like, different ones from everyone that was involved. It was really cool. After summer started, after the semester was over, we just kept going back up to McGuffey. Mr. Cook has taught printmaking up there since I took it in undergrad. And it is, it's an old faculty member's home who, uh, it was donated to the campus and wound up in the hands of the art department. And then Mr. Cook started teaching classes up there during the semester. And it is old and rickety and uh, winds up full of scraps of paper and crushed up chalk pretty quickly. And it's displaced from the buildings that students are normally in. So it gets left full of crushed up chalk and pieces of paper pretty easily and so uh, the press is up there and there's a lot of freedom to uh, do whatever you want. We totally wouldn't have done this if it wouldn't have been for McGuffey. I mean it's like even if it would have been different because it's like on a hill above a hill on like off campus. I mean it's like it's technically the edge of campus but it's really like a block away from the edge of campus. We were friends before, yeah. so I kind of took his class because we were friends. Easy, uh, yeah. Easy, I knew he wasn't gonna fail. Uh, I was nervous. It was the first class I taught. It was. Was it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Printmaking, um, but I. That was what I was focusing on in grad school, and so I got the opportunity to teach it. Trey was in there, which made it fun. Uh, it was more casual. And, it was. Uh, it was fun. I I remember being excited because it was, you know, the first teacher that I had that wasn't, you know, against me. Felt like he didn't want to fail me and he didn't want to give me bad grades. So it was fun. I'd never done it before, so that was like just like learning about it was so fun to me because it was like I I mean obviously this is like my thing and learning about it was really cool. Printmaking is an easy sell for teaching art because they haven't done it yeah. so you're just 
you're doing things that are so foreign that it seems like magic or something. Yeah. You're, it's, it's real silly. I remember thinking like even when I was learning about it, even the art itself is not that like well known. I mean I've seen lots of drawings and I've seen lots of paintings and you go to painting class and maybe you'll see something that's cool then you're like oh I can do that and that's, that's really neat but normally you see the same stuff but in printmaking I remember even like learning about the art that you make with printmaking was so different and unique and like the whole style was cool and I really just like every part of it I just really was into I really enjoyed it so started making it myself and it's been a good sense who knows what we'll do maybe with it. I don't know uh, for dramatic effect I feel yeah, like destroying might, it was the which is traditional that's, yeah in uh, printmaking normally they'll do that they'll they'll make uh, etching or a block and then they'll say how many they're going to print of it and then they'll print that many and then destroy the yeah. block. And publish the destroyed print. Because you, you know, like, well that all that is just about money because it, it increases the value of the limited number of reproductions. And, uh, but, which then again, we yeah. kind of don't destroy ours for monetary value as well because <laughs> if we sell it then we'll just make another one <laughs> but which is cool because you know I mean you never have to that's probably the best part of printmaking is you never have to like say goodbye to something you've done I mean you can just print another one and like people can have it I think that's great because then it's like people are taking your art they're not taking your work you know and so they can have, they can enjoy what you've made, and it's still like original. It's not like a, you know, like a Xerox copy. You know, some people make prints of their paintings or of their, ink, you know, their like drawings or whatever. They'll go to Kinko's and they'll make prints, and they'll give all their friends, hey, do you want a print of my drawing? But it's not really a print, it's a copy, you know, and it's a digital copy of that. So, like, at least, you know, we make a block, and we'll keep the block, and we'll make people prints, and we'll sell people prints, but the t thought and time went into the print, you know, each print, not as much time and thought as the block, but each print is unique. Multiple originals. Exactly. Exactly. We're even, like, launching a website, like, next week, so it's, it's, we're not disbanding by any means, we're just kind of slowing production. Long distance relationship, but we're not breaking up. No. <laughs>